Okay, example three under Benulis Vision Chapter five. So this is the question. An air field, hemispherical shell, is attached to the ocean floor at a depth of 10 meter as shown in figure 1. A mercury barometer located inside the shell reads 765 mm Hg and a mercury YouTube manometer designed to give the outside water pressure indicates a differential reading of 735 mm Hg as illustrated. Determine the atmospheric pressure at the ocean surface. Given the specific gravity of mercury and sea water is 13.6 and 1.03 respectively. So at this, uh, for this question, we have to find what is the P atmospheric at this at ocean surface. So I will put it point number one. And the point before uh, it enters the manometer is point number two. So this is my point number two. And if I put it here, so this is my point number two. So now we have to find what is the atmospheric pressure. Therefore, in our Bernoulli's equation, we cannot uh, zeroing okay p atmospheric therefore all the values all the calculation for the pressure must include atmospheric pressure okay so your values is in absolute okay now what i'm gonna do okay let me explain about the mercury barometer so barometer is uh, an instrument to uh, measure the uh, pressure, atmospheric pressure at a certain location. Here, the barometer is located inside this shell. So inside of this shell, there will be, there is a barometer where it reads the pressure inside this shell. Therefore, when it reads read this pressure it will be at this pressure so this pressure is the pressure inside the shell it will push this mercury and it will uh, stabilize between point from here to here uh, then this fluid will be at rest so the YouTube manometer will read the pressure difference between shell inside pressure and point number two. Okay. Now uh, we have to let me change the color of this pen to white. We have to calculate the density so because in this question we we uh, it gives us the value of a specific gravity so we we have to change it into density of mercury so to find what is the density of mercury we have to multiply 13.6 times with 1000 kilogram per meter cubic so you will get the density of mercury is 13,600 kilogram per meter cubic that is number one and row number two is row seawater I will make it short form seawater so row seawater is 1.03 so times with thousand kilogram per meter cubic so we will get one thousand 
thirty kilogram per meter cubic. Okay, we have a uh, two density here. Now what we are gonna do is to uh, change the value for the p barometer. Previously we already been given by uh, this value pressure in uh, mercury. Okay, it reads uh, seven hundred and sixty five mm Hg. So we have to change this into pressure value newton per meter square. So this is head of mercury in terms of head of mercury. So to change that, we have to use the equations of, so we want to find what is the P shell. So P shell is equal to rho G H. So H is this value, 765 mm in millimeter. So we have to substitute in meter, therefore we have to change this unit into meter. So rho is depends on the meter of what? So here is meter of mercury, therefore we have to substitute value for density is in for density for mercury. <coughs> so substitute the rho. 13,600 kilogram per meter cubic times with 9.81 meter per second and times with 765 times 10 to the power of minus 3 because milli. So this is meter. So we will get the P shell is 102.063.24 Newton per meter square. This is P shell. Okay. So now in this question, we have manometer here. After we determine this P shell, this is P shell, will pressure us at this point uh, to the mercury in the manometer. Then we have to calculate what is the pressure at 2. So we want to know what is P2. So we need to apply the manometer, uh, chapter 2. Okay, pressure and heat. So manometer concept, we have to apply it here. So I will put this A and B. So this is my point. So this is P shell. So P A equal to P B. So P A is P shell plus we have this value height 735 times 10 to the power of minus 3 rho gh right so we have h times with rho times with h so rho of what we have mercury so here is mercury, rho for mercury. So we have, we already find what is the pressure A. Then we take a look at PB. So PB is P2. So this pressure will bring up to here. P2 plus 360 times with rho G. So we have P2 plus pressure increase when uh, here uh, goes down, pressure will increase. 
when it goes up then it will reduce so negative value so 360 times 10 to the power of minus 3 times with a row here is seawater therefore here row for seawater times with g so combine these two equations we know that PA is equal to PB, substitute into this equation. Okay, so I will move to the next slide because it is not enough space to write it down. Okay, you will get a P shell plus 765 sorry seven hundred thirty five okay times ten to the power of minus three because in milli times with mercury Mercury density is 13,600 kilogram per meter cubic. Then you have to times with gravitational acceleration meter per second square. Okay, that is your PA equal to PB. What is your PB? P2 plus. 360 times 10 to the power of minus 3 times with raw salt water, sorry, sea water, kilogram per meter cube. Then we have to times with 9.81 meter per second square. So rearrange the equation. We already know what is the value of P shell, which is equivalent to a P barometer. Okay, P, this P barrel, uh, P shell. Okay, pressure uh, in pressure uh, values in barometer. So now we have P shell. We substitute into this equation. Okay, this equation. So we will get that P2 is equal to. So you substitute all the values. Eh? Also P shell. So calculate. And then you will get that P2 is 166, 96, 480, 6.452 Newton per meter square. So you already get the value for P2. Now how to solve P1, PAT, PATM, atmospheric pressure. At that point, so here, we will apply Bernoulli's equation since the ocean is flowing. Okay, we will apply the Bernoulli's equation from point one to point two. Now let's take a look at the Bernoulli's equation. So we apply the Bernoulli's equation P1 over rho g plus u1 square over 2g plus set 1 equal to P2 over rho g plus u2 square over 2g plus set 2. So now uh, we take a look at the pressure term. So P1 we cannot remove because here we are considering atmospheric pressure in our calculation since at the beginning we considering a barometer calculation. So barometer is to find the atmospheric, the atmospheric pressure at certain location or the, at, at uh, specific location and specific area. Then our calculation and our uh, and our Bernoulli's equation will be included include PATM. Okay, so what about P2? P2 we already get from the uh, calculation here. We already define what uh, that mean or calculate the value of P2. 
Now uh, we take a look at the kinetic energy terms u1 and u2. So he, here is ocean. So as we know that when we are uh, the ocean surface velocity is not uh, in high velocity. It is not more than uh, one meter per second or uh, because of the slow velocity of ocean surface, we may assume that u1 and u2 is equivalent to zero. So unless there, there is a tsunami there, okay, it is totally different because the velocity of water is surprisingly high at that uh, phenomena. So now the ocean is at steady and the velocity is also slow, then we have uh, for the ocean, we will assume that u1 and u2 is equivalent to zero. So therefore, velocity at one and velocity at two is zero. So now we rearrange the equation. Okay, so p1 over rho g, equal to P2 over rho g plus z2 minus z1. So P1 equal to P2, so I bring rho g here, plus rho g z2 minus z1. So wait a minute, what is the value for rho here? We have rho for mercury and rho for sea water, ocean water. So which one should we uh, plug in into this equation? So take a look at your point of Bernoulli's equation. You are considering point 1 to point 2. Within point 1 to point 2, what is the liquid or what is the fluid that... Uh, contains in that area. So we take a look at here, one and two. Oh, we have seawater. Then your rho here in Bernoulli's equation at point one, rho for seawater, at point two also rho for seawater. Okay, therefore rho here is rho C water. Okay. Now we take a look at Z2 and Z1, okay. So we have this ocean water and point two. We have point one and point two, and then this is 10 meter high. So if I say that my datum is at zero meter at z one, therefore my z two is one z one is zero meter, z two is below than point one, z two is 10 meter below than one. Therefore, Z2 is negative 10 meter. Z2 is be 10 meter below than Z1. So, 0 below than Z1 is negative 10. Okay? So, we substitute all the values. Here, seawater G. So, Z2 is minus 10 minus zero okay so when you substitute so here p1 is 196 four eight six point four five two plus rho salt water Sea water is one two three zero, so nine point eight one times with negative ten. So you will get your P one value, or P atmospheric at ocean surface, is equivalent to nine five Newton per meter square. So this is your atmospheric pressure at ocean surface.
So you already answered this question. Okay. Thank you.